Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Shark Evo ES helmet. The Evo ES is the kind of helmet that I think of as a convertible, a bit like a convertible car where you can run it with the roof up or the roof down. This can be run as an open face or a full face helmet and it's fully legal to do so in either configuration. That's the same with quite a lot of flip fronts but this one's actually designed to be done like that on a more permanent basis as an open face helmet. If you wanted to be riding for hours at a time in an open face lid then this will do that job and then you're able to flip it back down and run it as a full face for the rest of your journey. So it functions with this button at the base of the chin bar. By operating that, it releases this small red tab here, which sets the visor in motion. And then as you lift the chin bar, the visor automatically lifts out of the way to keep it clear of the chin bar as it passes. And where on a normal helmet, the chin bar would stop here, and you have a top heavy helmet with that weight at the top of your head. This one carries on and nestles at the back of the shell there, which gives you a much better weight distribution. Instead of having that weight at the top that's trying to pull your head forward, you've got much better balance as you ride. So you can spend longer periods of time with this as an open face helmet. When you want to be able to flip it back into a full face configuration again, on this helmet you need to pull that chin bar slightly away from the shell. And then as it comes over the top, I'll show you with the visor down. The visor's down, then it automatically retracts the visor again to create that clearance that you need. And then it clicks back down in place. Flip the visor down and then you're able to carry on with full face riding. One of the things I've found with this helmet compared to other convertible helmets is that motion of needing to pull the chin bar away from the shell to return it to the front. There are other convertible helmets that don't need that. You can just flip them forward while you're riding. I found that the need to pull that away from the back of the shell meant I couldn't do it while I was riding. I needed to stop, pull into a lay-by and convert the helmet back to full face. It's something definitely to bear in mind with this helmet. So that ability to use this as both an open face and a full face helmet is the main draw card to helmets like this. But let's run through some of the basics about this one in particular. The shell is made from polycarbonate and ventilation comes from two slide operated switches on the top there, which draw in a certain amount of cooling air. And then we've got twin chin vents on the front. The first one's really obvious, it's this rocker switch here. Some customers in the reviews of this helmet, people who've bought this helmet say that that has a mind of its own and you don't know you've actually operated it. It's easy to accidentally operate. That's the obvious one. The second one is less obvious and it is actually a left to right slide switch on the inside, which draws air through this channel here onto the inner surface of the visor. Now that's potentially even more useful and necessary with this helmet than with some others that chin vent there because this helmet although it looks like it's pin lock protected it's not and it's not pin lock ready either there's no option to fit pin lock insert to this visor although it's got the recess there for the max vision insert. It's an adaptation of another visor which does run pin lock and instead this one has an anti-fog coating on it. Reading through the customer reviews of this helmet, people who've bought this are actually really pleased with that anti-fog coating and there are even some customers within there who've used a pinlock visor with a similar style of helmet and they prefer this anti-fog coating to the pinlock. So as well as the main visor, there's an internal sun visor. If I flip the chin bar out of the way. And like most sharks, it operates on a sliding switch at the top of the helmet here. And has a good amount of coverage to shield your eyes from the sun. And then that switch, when it comes back up, that last little push gives it more security and holds it up to stop it slipping down in front of your eyes. The outer visor is anti-fog coated, but the inner visor isn't. And that's something that I feel that Shark should be looking at for future models. Inside, the Evo ES has all the touring comforts that you'd want for those sort of long distance rides. The lining is moisture wicking and it's plush. It's fully removable, so you can take it out and wash it when it gets a bit grubby. And this neck roll here also has an elasticated section at the back, which pulls it tight around your neck to reduce drafts and make the ride a little bit quieter. Those customer reviews, looking through them, 
people who've bought this helmet are generally very happy with the noise levels while riding in this helmet. That's always going to be subjective and depend on the bike that you ride, but the people who've bought this so far are quite happy with the, with the levels of noise. Also with the interior, just beneath that neck roll, there's a chamber to tuck away the battery for a shark tooth intercom and there are recesses inside the helmet where you can sit speakers without them compressing against your ears and making things uncomfortable. It fastens with a micrometric fastener which is really popular with touring and commuting riders, the sort of people who are going to buy this helmet. And there's also an, a flip down chin curtain in the front here. A normal fixed chin curtain wouldn't work with this helmet because it would clash as the chin bar slides over the top of the shell. So this one is a fold down one so you can Pull that down when you need it and it will flip out of the way when you try and retract the helmet. So most people assume that helmets like this, flip fronts and convertibles, are going to be heavy. But we've had this size medium on our scales here and it weighed in at 1634 grams, which is pretty good for a flip front. It's actually 100 grams or so lighter than some helmets that aren't even flip fronts. So I think weight compared to other helmets of this type with this one is actually pretty good. On the whole, this helmet's proven really popular with customers, which you can see from reading through the reviews on the Sports Bike Shop website. I think it's taken a bit of time to refine the design on these convertible helmets over the years, but it seems like they're getting closer every year, and this is probably really close to the ideal setup for a convertible helmet. I hope that gives you everything you'd like to know about the Shark Evo ES helmet, but if there's anything you feel we've missed, please pop a question in the comments section below, and we'll get back to you about that as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.